Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome to a brand new fashion video. Today, it really does feel as though it is the start of autumn. We have had the most beautiful, long golden hour this morning, and I am ready to do the big old wardrobe switchover. But today, instead of talking about new, 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 I thought I would share a few of my all-time favorite styling tips to ensure that you look elegant and classy throughout the autumn season. Now, way before we moved house, I filmed quite a few videos along these lines about building a classic wardrobe and a few of my all-time styling tips. So I'm gonna pull a few of the tips from those videos but make it a little bit more autumnal focused. I will be mentioning a few fashion pieces, obviously, throughout the video to illustrate my tips. So all of these pieces will be linked in the description box down below alongside this rather fabulous dress that I am wearing today. And this video is very kindly sponsored by The Outnet. That is where this dress is from. It is indeed a Zimmerman dress, as you might be able to tell from the statement shoulders, fabulous pattern and rather voluminous sleeves, very iconic Zimmerman designs. But The Outnet, if you haven't heard me raving about it in so many of my recent vlogs. It's essentially part of the Netta Porter group, but you can find designer pieces at an amazing discount. So for example, you might find a Zimmerman dress up to 70% off, you might find a Burberry tote bag, you might find you might find that thing that you lusted for last season, but maybe it was a little bit above your budget. Like in my case, the Burberry coat. Do you remember last November, December, I got a Burberry coat from the Outnet and I'd had that on my wish list for so long. So you will find the most gorgeous designer and premium pieces, but at a very wonderful discount. So if you receive my newsletter, chances are you are familiar with my edits from the Outnet. I like to put together little edits every now and then. And this this is my way of getting the satisfaction of shopping from the outlet but without making too many purchases. What I like to do is always keep an eye on their new in page and I'll pull together my favourites from the whole of the site and especially from the new in and share them with you in my newsletters. So if you received my newsletter on Friday, you'll have seen that I popped this one, this edit in that newsletter there. They have got so many amazing pieces for the new season, jumper dresses, coats, dresses, boots, bags. And the best thing is, especially the pieces that I have chosen, they are all so timeless and elegant that yes, they might still be an investment, but these are quality pieces that are going to elevate your wardrobe for so many years to come. So anyway, without further ado, let's start with my autumn styling rules for dressing elegantly and in a classy way this autumn. So my first styling tip is not to ditch your whites. It's quite a common misconception that white is just for spring and summer. I think white looks so elegant and classy all year round. In fact, many of my favorite autumn winter outfits are focused on white pieces. So something that I spotted on the outnet, I'll leave it on the screen here, is this beautiful white coat. I have got something very similar from Reese last year, which you'll see me styling on the screen here. And oh my goodness, I feel so chic and put together and elegant wearing a white coat. All you need to think about is your accessories, a simple pair of black sunglasses, some lovely boots and a crossbody bag and that to me is autumn winter elegant outfit perfection. Obviously white is very plain, very simple, not patterned unlike the fabulous dress that I'm wearing now. So where you want to get the interest for your outfit is in those textures. The great thing about autumn winter is that tones and textures really speak volumes about your outfit. So look for really chunky cozy knits. Has it got a fair isle pattern? Has it got a cable knit? Is it a really sumptuous fluffy cashmere? When you're wearing a white outfit that you can really play around with those textures to get that interest in your look. As well as obviously the classic white polo necks and white chunky knits, consider white for other areas of your outfit as well, such as skirts. Again, I will show you here another of my favorite really elegant autumn winter outfits, including this C by Chloe skirt that I actually purchased from the Outnet a couple of years ago. Still one of my favorites to this day, and I noticed they have got something fairly similar on the website right now. I think that a white white skirt paired with a tonal jumper, a tonal shirt, especially in a midi length. That midi length is always going to make you look so elegant and polished and put together. So consider adding a white skirt into your autumn winter wardrobe because you might surprise yourself with just how many different ways there are of styling it. My second tip for looking elegant and classy throughout autumn and winter, but actually all year round, 
is to care for your clothes. This is something that I do talk about quite a lot in my fashion videos, but it is so important to take good care of your clothes, especially if you are investing in slightly more premium pieces. These are the pieces that are going to be in your wardrobe for many, many, many years to come. So a few little quick tips you can do to ensure that you're creating longevity and really caring for your clothes. Number one, wash your pieces inside out, especially if they've got any detailing, any embroidery. They're a lot less likely to get damaged in the wash if you wash your things inside out. Obviously, if you are wearing a lot of wool, a lot of cashmere, be so, so careful. I always, always, always do my knitwear on the hand wash setting at 20 degrees in my machine with a specific delicate detergent. I have ruined a few jumpers and knitwear in the past and it's just absolutely heartbreaking, especially if you are investing in those lovely timeless pieces. So always read the care instructions and wash your things inside out. Another tip is to wash your things less often. Washing itself is a damaging process, so you want to try to wash your clothes less often. Again, if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll see a very exciting delivery that I unboxed recently. It is a clothes steaming styler. It looks like a fridge, but it's basically a styler for your clothes steams that cleanses. It's amazing but it's expensive. It does mean that I can wash my clothes less often. So if you want to, so if you do get a little mark on an item of clothing, you don't need to put the whole thing in the wash. Just spot clean as soon as possible after the mark happens, because the longer a mark is on the fabric, the harder it's going to be to remove. Speaking of my steamer, of course, you can have a handheld steamer or one of those professional kind of steamers on a pole. I would highly recommend a steamer. It's so much easier and quicker than ironing, but always making sure that your clothes are steamed, pressed or ironed before leaving the house is a humongous tip for looking elegant, classy and polished throughout autumn because you'll never see an elegant lady turning up to an event with a creased blouse or a creased skirt. Sometimes, for example, a wedding that we were at last weekend, I knew that my beautiful linen skirt would end up looking like a crumpled mess if I wore it in the car. So what I did, I just popped on a hanger. I wore tracksuit bottoms in the car to get to the wedding venue, which was about an hour's drive away. And then as soon as we got Got there I just slipped into my skirt which I'd already steamed at home and had hanging in the car throughout the journey. My third tip for always looking elegant and classy during autumn and winter and the emphasis is on the word always is to know what's on trend but keep the majority of your wardrobe classic and timeless. This is something else that I love about the outnet because these pieces some of them are previous season some of them are those pieces that the retailers and the brands keep bringing back time after time is you can often find some really amazing classic and timeless pieces but at a discount, which is such a win-win situation. When you're putting together your outfit, it's good to have those trends in the back of your mind. Perhaps you can style something a little bit differently. Perhaps you can bring in an on-trend accessory, whether that is the color of the season, which you're adding into your outfit via a silk scarf, or perhaps even just a necklace or an earring style, but keep those core parts of your outfit as classic and timeless as possible. Again, I'm gonna show you here the Burberry coat, which I got from the Outnet last year. This is such a great example of the most timeless, classic and elegant piece a lady can possibly have in her wardrobe. The quality of this coat is unlike any other piece of outerwear in my entire wardrobe. A trench is never ever going to date. There are certain things in your wardrobe which just never date. A trench coat is one of them. A classic white shirt is one of them. Depending on your personal style, perhaps a really well-fitting blazer. And it's always worth investing in those things because they are going to be part of your wardrobe for so long. So by investing in a really beautifully made piece and then taking good care of it, you're always going to look elegant and classy when wearing those timeless pieces. The next tip is a little harder to master and I would say practice makes perfect but my next tip is to learn how to layer elegantly. Now my number one tip when it comes to layering an outfit in an elegant way is to keep your layers thin. Now we all know what I'm going to say next. Your first layer on those freezing cold days can of course be a thermal. If you look for thermals from places like Marks and Spencer, Intermiss Me, that's where I get mine. They're really beautifully thin. You would never even know they were there because you don't want to add too much bulk, especially on those first layers to your outfit. The next layer could be a really lovely thin camisole in a silk material, for example, or a satin material. And then a shirt on top, again, really nice thin layers because once you start adding on those chunky knits, you can't really add more than one chunky layer. So keep your layers thin to keep that outfit looking elegant. At this time of year, especially when it's 
early autumn let's say perhaps a lot of us are thinking how can i layer my summer dresses to make them more appropriate for autumn on the screen here you'll see me trying another really spectacular dress that I got from the Outnet. It is another Zimmerman piece and it's perfect for this transitional time of year. And there's a few different ways that I like to style this up differently for the autumn season. You can actually wear a pair of thermal tights underneath this dress if you really want to, if it's really cold. Pair with some boots instead of sandals to make it even warmer for autumn. And with things like this you could even wear a faux fur gilet. You could add some shearling just to layer up this initially quite a thin summer dress to make it more appropriate for autumn but in an elegant way. One final tip when it comes to layering is of course the final layer which is your coat. Now of course I've already mentioned my Burberry coat but here I'm going to show you how I'm styling an old Reese coat over the Zimmerman dress and you'll notice the really simple styling tip is just to keep your coat open, wear it perhaps over your shoulders just to really showcase your outfit underneath. If it gets really cold of course wrap yourself up, button it up but when arriving at an event or if you are not actually that cold, it's just there for a cozy factor. Keeping the coat open really shows off the outfit underneath, making your outfit look even more elegant. <laughs> okay, there is a huge category of pieces which in my opinion always look elegant and classy and that is midi length pieces whether that's midi length skirts or midi length dresses there are so many on the out there at the moment on my wish list you'll know that i'm a huge fan of both midi skirts and midi dresses there's something about the length which just always makes your outfit look so polished and timeless now i like to elevate my midi skirts and midi dresses with a really beautiful pair of boots of course my chloe boots are my absolute favorite and if it comes with a belt or even if it doesn't you can switch in your own belt to add that slightly more personal touch make it look as though you've really thought about those details and to elevate the dress even more. I know that a few of my friends do struggle with the outerwear to wear with a midi dress for example especially if it's a knitted one. I would say don't worry too much about it but long line coats as a whole do tend to look really fantastic with those more midi length pieces and I think that finishing the look with a crossbody bag is the ultimate elegant, timeless and polished way of styling your midi dresses in the upcoming season. My next tip is another broad one and this applies all year round and it's just to make sure that you keep yourself well groomed. I've mentioned this in quite a few of my styling videos before. It's really important not to overlook those finer details. Are your nails neat and tidy? Are they manicured, whether by yourself at home or just completely bare and polish free? Make sure they're clean, no chips. Obviously, it's such a luxury to go for a salon manicure. It's a real pampering bit of me time, but there are so many fantastic sets you can get at home as well. So you don't need to spend a lot of money, but just taking care of those little details clean well polished nails a good clean skincare routine not too much makeup and hair that has been brushed in fact I could do with a little hairbrush right now just those small details speak such volume you could be wearing the most expensive outfit in the world but if you have got makeup caked on you've got chip nails and scruffy hair you're not going to look elegant and classy <laughs> another tip is that winter accessories should not be overlooked of course they have their practical use whether it's a hat keeping your head warm or gloves for when you are out dog walking or shopping keeping your hands nice and warm but a considered winter accessory is a perfect finishing touch that really should you thought about those details as part of your outfit. If you watched my recent Bista vlog you'll know that I invested in inverted commas in a beautiful Hermes scarf lately, my very first Hermes purchase. This is a great way of adding that finishing touch to an outfit and this can be worn with loads and loads of different outfits to make them more appropriate for the season and just show that I've thought about those details, whether worn around the neck, as a belt, in your hair or even just looping over the handle of a bag to give it that slightly more I've really thought about this kind of finishing touch. Think about those accessories as part of your outfit as opposed to those last minute grab it and go. And when investing in new accessories, I would say to stick again to those neutral tones to ensure they go with all of your autumn winter outfits. So I've mentioned coats before, but a statement coat should really be your key investment for the upcoming season. Of course, for practicality reasons, keeping you nice and warm and toasty, but also because your coat is the main part of your outfit that people are gonna see most of the time when the temperatures start to drop so really make that a considered purchase. I've definitely done an entire video on the in the past about choosing the perfect summer coat, but my top tips, predictably, of course, make sure it's timeless, make sure it's classic. I would stay away from anything too patterned, too trend-led. I would steer clear of things with embroidery or too much print on them because these can date quite considerably. Instead, go for those timeless silhouettes, 
those colors that are definitely within the neutral spectrum so they go with everything you want it to work for all of the outfits in your wardrobe and i truly would recommend investing in the highest quality that you can possibly justify and the outlet is a great place for that these things might not be what the designers have literally just showed on their runway but you're going to be able to find those timeless pieces, those little gems like my Burberry coat, and I'll leave a few of my other favorite coats on the outnet linked down below. And then when you have got your perfect coat, think about those little finishing details. This is definitely a running trend throughout the video. How have you tied the coat? How have you accessorized it? Have you got a beautiful crossbody bag? Have you done just a quick slapdash knot in the robe belt? Or have you taken time to really tie it in a beautiful and elegant way? These are the finishing details that really take an outfit from normal to elegant and classy. And darlings, my final tip is completely free. It doesn't cost you anything and it's all about how you hold yourself it's all about the confidence and posture that you have when wearing your your autumn winter outfits my number one tip here is to think about your posture and in particular your shoulders if you've got a straight back and your shoulders are back that's going to make you look so much more put together so much more confident even if you're really not it's such a great little hack just push your shoulders back sit upright and not only will it make your outfit look better it'll make you ooze that confidence that really completes every single outfit okay darlings those are my styling rules for looking elegant and classy this autumn but I think that they are applicable all year round. So I hope you found these little tips interesting. I'm sure you guys have got so many other tips. So I'd love you to share your best advice for styling and looking elegant in the comments section down below. Don't forget everything that I've mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. So just open that up for more information. And that is all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I'd love a little thumbs up and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.